And that's Babu's story by Quitty, who's just joined me in the studio. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Great, thank you for you know. being here. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to go through an entire journey of you today while also touching on your concert as well, which I understand is coming up. But let's start off with you. Who is Quitty? Quitty is Quitty. I'm a guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm an artist, a musician, trumpet player, songwriter. Okay, yeah. interesting, interesting. So when did you break into the music industry? Officially 2015, yeah. When I released a single titled Serious Thing, the love song though. Okay, nice. But what led you to make that decision? What led you to decide that 2015 was the year for a new change and that new change was music? It has always been in me. Uh, I've always had that, uh, that um, drive to, to become an artist. But, uh, where I came from, way back in the days, I worry. I used to play in Children's Seraphim, Boys Brigade. So, so my friends, ah, who's that Brigade boy? I don't like it. I call him a Brigade boy. So I have to, I have to double my game to, to see myself beyond just playing the trumpet. Okay, interesting. And then you obviously moved from Wari to Lagos. Yeah. And you're based in Lagos now. What I'm led really you to decide that you needed to come to Lagos to pursue your career? Okay, actually, I didn't, I didn't plan to come to Lagos. I said, okay, let me visit a friend or bring, so, okay, let me bring this stuff to Lagos. I just said, oh, I'm in Lagos. So I said, okay, come to this show. I went, oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So I just fell in love with Lagos and I decided to stay back. And what's it been like? Has it been a challenge or has it been something that's been very smooth processed for you? Um, Lagos is, is, is very interesting because the uh, first time I came to Lagos, when I got to Lagos, they gave me, it's all call, welcome to Lagos. Mm. They will dupe you, trick you, and all that. So stress will make us all. But I never stop, I never give up. I keep okay. moving. Yeah. Let's look into your success so far from 2015 till now. What would you say is the greatest thing that's happened in your music career so far? And how would you also say you've grown as an artist over the past three to four years? <clears throat> I, I learned something. Something that's been keeping me, which is two things. Uh, my, my, my staying power, which is my my strength and my faith in what I'm doing. So that has been my backbone. Keep pushing, keep striving to become great. Okay, nice. So let's backtrack to your childhood. You grew up in Wari in Delta State. Delta what was State. that like? What was life like as a young boy? Very interesting, very, very interesting. What's your favorite memory? Ah, ah, a lot of memories. I have a lot of good friends. I play a lot though. I was in Boys Brigade. Mm. A lot of stupid things and good things growing up. Okay, nice. So what else did you realize that you were passionate about aside from music? Farming. Okay. I love farming, yeah. Okay, interesting. Do you have a family? Yeah, I do. Oh, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay, so we just listened to your song, Fabu Story. Yeah. And you were explaining to me off camera that Fabu from Fabu. And yeah. I am guessing you wrote the song yourself? Yeah, I do. Okay, so take me through the inspiration behind the lyrics. Okay, Fabu story, Fabu story. No, over the years we've been hearing a lot of things that are not true. I hear obese boy, seeing BC girl, okay, kind of things. And, and uh, in our society today, we've, they've been telling us of history. What I've been hearing when I was still a baby, when I was still young, I'm seeing the same stories to date in terms of politically, our individual lives. In fact, the general society, yeah. Okay, so you decided to focus on creating a conscious song, some, sorry, something that was going to resonate with the people. Yeah. And you wrote those lyrics for that. Interesting. So would you say that that's a route that you want to take in your music career, <coughs> conscious music? Mm, I would say yes, I would say no. Based on the fact that music is a universal language, I write my song based on how I feel, what I see. Getting, getting inspired by my environment, by Piotr Seller, Bolle Seller, mm. what I had in the experience I had in the past, what I'm thinking about, what I'm thinking about the future. So it's just, I can come and say, okay, oh, I want to do a rap album next year. Mm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't rap, but okay. I can just, okay. How would you describe your sound? Good music. It's a good, good music. Okay, but I'm, in terms of a genre for your music, where okay. would you place it? Alternative Afro Contemporary, that's what I do, but I, I can switch into any, any form in terms of. Mm with my trumpet, try to create a, create a sound. Mm. Okay, let me not say, every, every sound is not new. Mm. There's nothing new under the sound. Mm. So I won't say I'm creating a new sound, I'm trying to play with 
every other son that I've had. Interesting. In the past. Yeah. Interesting. How long did it take you to learn the trumpet? Very long. I started playing in 94. Wow. And you became a professional when? <laughs> I started playing professionally in 97. Yeah. Okay. That was, when I, that was when I joined the Nigerian Football Supporters Club. Yeah. Okay, nice. Now, who would you say are your biggest inspirations in the Nigerian music industry today and also in the international music industry? Let's start off with Nigerian. Okay. If you want to be a great musician, you have to be a very great, good thief. You thief from here, take from here. There are concepts everywhere. So I love all Nigerian musicians. I love them all. But I found Z, Brian Moore, Wandiko, and Tim I a lot. Okay, interesting. Why would you say you chose those four? Yeah, Wandiko is like uh, our white cliff. Can do anything, can sing anything. Brian Moore, that guy is deep. He has a very unique voice. And Tim is a street. The street. Okay, interesting, interesting. Now, you said in order to be a good musician, you have to basically thief from yeah, everywhere. Yeah, so, yeah, in yeah. other words, what you're saying is that you have to be able to take inspiration from, from different, places. different places. Do you feel yeah. like that can sometimes confuse you and stop you from focusing on finding what is true to you as an artist, or do you believe that that's the only way to become a successful artist? No, number one thing is to discover your sound. Mm -hmm. When you discover your sound, okay, this is my sound. So, when you take any sound somewhere, mm. you try to make it your sound. Change it to your sound. You, it's only you that can make it work. Because every individual have his own potentials inside. Mm. If you look inwardly, you will see you inside of you. Okay, interesting, interesting. So let's move on to your top three inspirations internationally. Who would those be? Wycliffe. Oh, <laughs> Louis Armstrong. Mm -hmm. Who else? Ah. Oh. Let me go film it, film it, film it, film it. I love this one. I love Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. So Wyclef, Louis Armstrong, and Lauren yeah. Hill. Yeah. That's a very good choice. That's a very good choice. <laughs> so let's move on quickly. Let's speak about your concert. I understand that you have a show coming up soon. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, I'm doing an event titled The Man Quitty, officially unveiling Quitty. So I'm officially unveiling Quitty and uh, I'm putting up... Uh, Inviting every other artist that I love, or every other individual that love jazz music, doing tribute to Louis Armstrong, great Louis Armstrong. But I started my singing career with Louis Armstrong. Oh, interesting. Uh, so I'm doing a tribute to Louis Armstrong. And also okay. dropping my, my EP. Okay. Try, especially my EP, yeah, too. Okay, so where exactly is the event taking place? At Adro Cafe. Okay. Adro Cafe at Oniru, okay. Landmark, at Landmark Building. And, Okay, interesting. So is this an event that people can come and attend or is it a private it, event? You don't have to miss it. You don't have to miss it. You have to come. You have the like of uh, Yinka Davis, T-Mark, Ego, Marka, and a lot of artists will be coming, including Casey and the okay. rest of them. Yeah. And what day is this on? A Sunday, next week. This Sunday. This Sunday. The 9th of September. And what time? 7 p.m. Okay, so is there a website or a social media page that people can go to to get more information? Yeah, my, my Instagram handle is uh, at Quitty Music. If you want to send me an email, hello at Quitty Music. And um, my website, www.quittymusic.com. Well, thank you so much. I'm wishing you all the best at your show on Sunday, unveiling Quitty and bringing something to the Nigerian music industry yeah, once again. It's been an so absolute much. pleasure having you on the show. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.